As you can see, leaves come in all different shapes and sizes. But the primary role of a leaf is photosynthesis. And hence the majority of leaves are green because they are full of the green pigment chlorophyll. This image shows the cross section of a leaf. If you were to cut a leaf in half so that you have the top of the leaf here and the bottom of the leaf here, under a microscope, the arrangement of cells would look a little bit like this. So let's look at what the different parts of the leaf are called. The top part is called the waxy cuticle and if you feel the top of a leaf you'll feel on many leaves they have that waxy coating. The layer underneath is called the epidermal layer and you'll see the epidermal layer covers the top and the bottom of the leaf. This bundle of tubes here is called the xylem and the phloem. If you were to view the bottom of a leaf under a microscope you would notice some small holes. The name of the hole is called a stoma and as plural you will see this written as stomata. Surrounding the stomata there are guard cells which are these two cells either side of the hole in the bottom of the leaf. You've now got a layer of cells above this bottom epidermal layer with lots of gaps in between and this is called the spongy layer. Above this you have these rectangular cells which are packed close together and this is called the palisade layer. Now importantly we said the main function of the leaf was to do photosynthesis. So we're next going to remind ourselves of the photosynthesis equation and then we're going to see how that links to all these different parts of the leaf. The equation for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water produces glucose plus oxygen. And sometimes above the arrow you may also see sunlight and chlorophyll. Sunlight and chlorophyll aren't written in the normal equation because they are not reacting or being produced but both sunlight and chlorophyll are both needed for photosynthesis to happen. So when we look at the structure of the leaf again we need to think to ourselves how do we get carbon dioxide into the leaf and water? How are we allowing sunlight through? Where is the chlorophyll that we need to produce this glucose and oxygen? So we'll be thinking about these four things as we look at the function or the job of each part of the leaf. So starting with the epidermal layer that covers the leaf, the epidermal layer is thin to allow sunlight through. So this is how we get our sunlight for photosynthesis. This layer being very thin allows the sunlight to penetrate through the top of the leaf and get to the cells below. These tubes called the xylem and the phloem, the xylem carries the water. So this is how the water gets from the roots to the leaf and this is needed for photosynthesis. The phloem carries the food and the food for the plant is the glucose that is produced in photosynthesis. So the phloem can then carry this around the plant. The stoma or stomata, the plural, are the holes in the bottom of the leaf to allow gases to diffuse through. So the gas that we need in photosynthesis is carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide diffuses from the air into the leaf. And in photosynthesis, oxygen is made. So oxygen can diffuse out of the leaf through these stomata. The guard cells either side of the stomata controls the opening and closing of the stomata. The spongy layer has lots of gaps. You can see them here. They're not packed close together. There's lots of gaps and this allows the gases, so the CO2 going in or the oxygen going out, to diffuse. Moving on to this palisade layer. The palisade layer is probably the most important one for photosynthesis because this is where most of the photosynthesis takes place. And as you can see, they are full of chloroplasts. And these chloroplasts contain the green pigment called chlorophyll. 
and this is what we need to absorb the sunlight. And finally we've got this waxy cuticle on the top and this waxy cuticle prevents water loss. So the water that we take in the plant through the xylem we don't want to then lose and be evaporated out of the top of the leaf because we need that water for photosynthesis. So this waxy layer prevents that water escaping and being lost. So putting it together with this photosynthesis equation again, the carbon dioxide that the plant needs for photosynthesis diffuses into the leaf through the stomata. The water needed is carried from the roots to the leaves via the xylem. The sunlight is allowed through by the thin epidermal layer. The chlorophyll is found in the palisade layer which is packed full of chloroplasts that contain the chlorophyll. And in this process glucose and oxygen are produced. So glucose can then be transported around the plant via the phloem and the oxygen can diffuse out of the leaves via the stomata. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.